Studios, Black Man with Hands Production Studios uh, in Gardena, California. Welcome to another edition of Talking Shit for the podcast. And we're going to get right into it because we got a lot of topics to discuss. And we've been waiting um, for weeks to actually have uh, our friend and uh, <laughs> social justice confidant, uh, Miss Patty. Let's give her a call. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Like a pro with LG G3. Are you there? I'm here. I'm Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. I couldn't hear you. I, you know me. I'm getting old, so I'm losing my hearing. Huh? I'm. <laughs> you can't hear either. How are you? Yeah, Hello? same here. I I went and had some pictures taken of my heart last week. Uh, and? Well, they put they put this radiation inside of me. And uh, yeah, they were just looking around in there. They're trying to see if my heart is functioning properly, and they haven't called me back. So I guess I'm good to go for now. I don't know. I mean, you know. Yeah, well, this is good. That's you got that right. That's that's what I'm going going through. Listen, I wanted to talk to you. We've been trying to get a hold of you. What the hell is going on in Ferguson, Missouri? Oh, Who knows? Those people. Do you remember that uh, movie and TV show called Ferguson, Missouri? Yeah. Well, that's where they're from. Right. Yeah. Missouri is Missouri part of the South? This, I don't know. They've been doing it this this way for so many years. They don't know another way to do it. Yeah, yeah I, it just seems like it's part of the South. It just like seems there seems like they're in Mississippi. Uh, apparently, they shot this gun, this man, and this uh, youngster in cold blood. Apparently, he was over at a, like a Seven Eleven or something. Had a little drama there. Went out into the street with his friend. The cop obviously didn't know about that incident. Confronted him and shot him down. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, I mean that's it. And it's just like, apparently there were several witnesses, including the guy that was with him who ran away, saying that he had his hands up in the air, and the cop just killed him anyway. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. There was no weapon found. Yeah, it's, I'm just sort of speak, go ahead. Go oh, ahead, yeah, I'm just saying, people everywhere are just so sick of it, you know. Yeah, it's getting to the point where, well, apparently now, as we speak, in real time, uh, there's a curfew going up, and they're going to put up a sort of a Gaza Strip, you know, you know, nobody outside, you know, kind of, don't, don't let your right hand know what your left hand's doing, everybody indoors. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with just it's showing how disorganized and there's no direction, there's no real leadership, there's no respect for each other. It just turns into chaos. Why they released it yesterday, they enslaved everybody and got them all mad as an act, you know? 
Well, a lot of it has to do with, apparently, there's a couple of representatives there, for state and local officials, who believe that if this thing does get to court, that uh, the district attorney in that town is a Neanderthal, and they don't believe that he's really going to want to prosecute this cop. And so it really taints the jury pool when they put stuff out like that, these, these videos and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can just look at that and go, well, hell, he deserved to be killed in cold blood. Look at how mean he was, you know. Well, there's people on the street doing better than that, you know. You can't shoot somebody down. Yeah, not in cold blood with their hands up. I mean, that's a universal symbol all over the world. I'm, you know, you when you when somebody puts both their hands up in the air, you know, and they're on, they get down on their knees. I mean, come on. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The cops are just out of control. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it's everyone. it seems like a police state. Like the pol it's a police state. You know. Well, I interviewed via John Paul at uh, Facebook, and he said that uh, the cops are out of Yeah, I mean, it really was handled very poorly. The body apparently laid in the street uncovered for a while, even after the death of the young man. Uh, there's, there's, there's pictures normally that you just couldn't get a hold of if someone was dead. And they're just there's pictures all on Twitter and everything. It's really, really, really morbid and horrible pictures of uh, Michael Brown's dead body just sort of laying there for a while, uncovered. It, it was really, it's really sad, you know. No, very, very sad. What do you think of, what do you think about, wait, what'd you say? The answer. What's the answer? Yeah, how do we change this? Well, the, the way I would change it definitely would be, apparently there's a captain from the Highway Patrol for the state of Missouri who, is coming in and trying to be sort of a spokesperson for peace or whatever. But you're not going to change anything until you stop ripping the common man off. Uh, these corporations, these big business, they sort of hire in these police. One woman told me on Twitter, I support the police. And I thought about it and it's like, you know what, this police are supposed to support us. You know, they're okay. supposed to yeah, they're here to protect our rights, you know. And instead, what they're doing is they're protecting these people who take all our money. That's true. They're protecting yeah. the politicians. They're protecting big business. You know, they said the first night, Patty, these guys showed up. Because, you know, a lot of armed force in the world now is contracted out to these businesses like you, me, and your old man, we can we can start a business, and the government can hire us to come in with our police gear, and our bazookas, <laughs> and we can get the money. These police tank. Okay, let's switch gears. Let's talk about your buddy in Texas, uh, Rick Perry. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Apparently, Governor Texas Governor Rick Perry has been indicted uh, for some kind of meandering around. I guess he was tampering with some woman who wants to be keep her job. She got a DUI, and then she was uh, supposedly uh, not going to step down. So Rick Perry was behind the scenes trying to get her replaced because if she were to have stepped down, then he could have handpicked a Republican to take her job. Do you think they'll be able to prosecute and check? Well, they're going to prosecute him. Do you think they'll be able to lock him up and throw away the key? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> he was actually planning on running for, running for governor. I mean, running, 
running for president again, I heard. Mm. He was all a part of the cartoon characters they had. And, I mean, he, Sarah Palin, and Michelle Bachman remind me of a cartoon or something. I don't know. I, who yeah, Palin has her own uh, TV, online TV network now. Yeah. Who? <laughs> who does? Sarah Palin. Really? Yeah, you can subscribe to it, but she has a bunch of I want I want every one of them to expose you know, you know that saying it, it's one thing to know you're a fool and sort of fool everybody but it's another thing to open your mouth and remove all doubt yes you know and I want them to remove all doubt so we can vote Hillary Clinton in or anybody else if Hillary doesn't do it, you know? I don't want any of them in the White House anymore, especially in 2016. No, they won't get there. The one I think is everybody else is going to go to jail for his bridge gate, you know? You think, yeah. he, you think he's going to be arrested and put in jail for that? I think so. They find out he was the mastermind. Really? Yeah, and, uh, I think it's going to be Rand Paul, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then we'll, we'll, we'll expose how much of a bozo he is, and then Hillary will win, and we'll be the first female in the White House in this country. Wouldn't that be great? I think it would be wonderful. Yeah. But then there's always Elizabeth Warren. A lot of people want Elizabeth Warren, and a lot of people want Hillary Clinton. And then there's, you know, so there's some... Good people over on the other side, you know? Yeah, yeah. If if Warren does run, we'd let her be the vice president. But I don't think she has enough exposure for the most part. She's not more exposed than Hillary. And we could have Warren come in as a female vice president, a female back to back female ticket. That would be interesting, you say? Gosh, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, I really think it's I think it's time for the women to to, to be in, I think it's time to have uh, a, a female president. I'm, I'm ready. I know, we tried the black one and everybody lost their mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know, women now. Yeah. Uh, I it advanced things, but sent everybody back, you know, a hundred years. Yeah, I think it really scared the shit out of body, everybody. And even... Uh, and even with that, also too, with this whole medical thing, I mean, the, uh, the 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 white folk just went crazy when the man was talking about making sure everybody could go to the doctor. I mean, the nerve of him, you know, I know. The medical I know. stuff. How's your? I'm right. How's everything going with you? Are you all right? I'm just hanging there. You know, I got a little infection going on, but I'll kick it. You know. Oh yeah, you'll be around for a thousand years. You're, I think you're gonna wind up doing better than me. I, I just, I, you know, I've been losing weight though. I, I'm, I'm taking this medicine that helps me lose weight, and it's really helping me. I, I, it keeps me from eating so much, and you know, getting my diabetes all out of control. I like it. It's helpful. What is it? Uh, I think it's Veltrix or Vetrix or something like that. But yeah, yeah, it really it's really been helping me and, and really been keeping me out of trouble. You know? <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Listen, I gotta run. Uh we will be contacting you as events uh get worse or better in uh Ferguson, Missouri. And I'll keep you posted on uh Rick Perry's probation officers. Uh, contact number in case you see him out there act, acting a fool. Okay? All right. Good talking to you. Thank you. We'll get a hold of you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, another edition of Talking Shit with Miss Patty, uh, our confidant and social justice, you know, uh, figure. She is on top of all things uh, Republicans are stupid. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all the time we have right now for talking shit. I'm DeAndre. Uh, join us uh, at our website, 
which is at www.talkingshit.org, or go straight to YouTube, uh, our YouTube channel, Dr. DeAndre One, and we'll see you when it's time to eat. Thank you.